हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज वैशाली एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल दी लेयर्स ऑफ ओ एस आई मॉडल एंड टी सी पी आई पी मॉडल विथ एग्जाम्पल्स आई हैव मैंशन अ कंप्लीट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क एंड सिक्योरिटी सब्जेक्ट प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ना इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अ नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज मैनचेस्टर एंड डिफरेंशियल मैनचेस्टर एनकोडिंग लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन At the end of this video, you should learn about all these two line coding techniques and the difference between that. Let's discuss all these points one by one. Now, the first point is what exactly line coding techniques. See, as we discussed earlier, in OSM model, the first layer is called as physical layer. Physical layer take information from the data link layer. This information is in the form of binary format, like zero one zero one format. So physical layer transform this information to the receiver. For that purpose, they use different coaxial cable, twisted pair cable, or some optical fiber cable, right? So line coding techniques represent those signals in diagrammatical format. Basically, line coding techniques is used for digital communication purpose. Now. There are two techniques like Manchester encoding technique and another one is differential Manchester encoding technique. Now first discuss a Manchester encoding technique. See here. In this technique, one is represented by positive voltage and zero is indicate the negative voltage. This Manchester encoding representation are shown in two ways. First Dr. Thomas way and second IEEE way. Their representation is different. but final result is same this manchester encoding generally used for ir protocols rfid system and some nf system now let discuss with example okay now see here first we uh, learn about dr thomas representation so in this representation here zero is represented by low to high see here this is a symbol low to high and one is represented as high to low signal see high to low signal so here you have to remember this two symbols zero and one now let's take a example suppose your information is 10101 bits now you have to represent this information in diagrammatical format by using dr thomas manchester encoding see here in the first step you have to represent one so one is represented in this way high to low see here high to low so here one is called as signal this representation is called as waves and these lines are called as base lines okay now next next bit is zero see so one is already there and from this point you have to represent a zero so zero means low to high clear okay now after 10 the next bit is 1 see here 10 so here 1 is represented from this point this is called as transmission point okay from this point you have to represent 1 the next is 0 so 101 1, 1, 1 is end here now you have to represent 0 like low to high clear now from this point you have to represent it next symbol the next bit is 1 so at the end this is called as 1 so in this way this 10101 is represented let revise once see here the first bit is 1 1 represented by high to low okay the next one is 0 0 means low to high so see here low to high next is again 1 that is high to low in this way okay now next is zero so zero means low to high so how to represent it that is low to high okay and last one again is one so one is represented by this symbol that is high to low so just high to low clear so this is a called as dr thomas way of representation of signals now next now here this manchester encoding also represented in ieee format 
here just opposite of dr thomas rule here zero is represented by high to low see here zero is represented by high to low and this is a symbol and one is represented by low to high that is low to high this is a symbol so it just opposite of dr thomas rule let's take a example see here 10101 okay right see here one is represented by low to high and uh, zero is represented by high to low let's take a first step the first bit is zero one sorry okay first bit is one so how to represent it one by using this symbol so see here this is called as one and this is your transmission point okay now the next one is zero so from this point you have to represent next zero clear that is high to low the next bit is one see here so this you have already represented one and this is zero then from this point you have to start again to draw one that is low to high clear now the next bit is again zero so this is your transmission point right so from this transmission point you have to draw zero clear that is high to low and last one is one again at the end you have to represent it from this point to draw this symbol that is low to high so this is called as i triple way of symbol representation let's revise once see this is one okay so this is your one now the next one is zero so just draw zero here next one is one one means low to high here so this is a symbol of one next one is zero so just draw zero in this way okay and last one is one so one means low to high clear so this is a i triple e representation so here you have to just remember the symbols that is zero this symbol is high to low okay and one is represented low to high in this way and just merge this symbol according the bits or according the example so this is called as manchester encoding now the next type is called as differential manchester encoding so the differential manchester encoding is also known as b phase mark code okay here zero in particular symbol zero contains the age but one not contain the age one said a continuous signals and this differential manchester encoding used in twisted pair cable or in some lan network now see here in this encoding zero is represented by two ways either this way or this way okay and one is represented by this way either this way or this way okay so you have to choose which symbol is used while solving the example so here see here there is a age is used okay this line is called as age now just solve the example here uh, the given example is 10100 this is your information now you have to represent this information in signals format by using differential manchester encoding technique now just start to solving the example first is one bit so one bit always represented by in this way that is high to low okay first starting signal is high so that is high to low clear and this is your transmission point at the next time the next bit is zero so you have to start draw zero from here right so that is zero now let discuss that which symbol of zero is used here either this symbol or this symbol so here suitable for this symbol is suitable right because there is age is given because uh, see this is represented by one now this is your transmission point so which symbol is suitable either this or this this symbol is suitable there right by using age so this is called as zero right so this is a symbol of zero which represent a particular voltage now the next bit is one see here you have to represent one to zero already now this is your transmission point okay so how to represented one 
there are two ways either this way or this way which way is suitable here from this point this symbol is suitable right because this symbol is starting from the upper point but this symbol is starting from the lower point right so just draw the symbol of 1 clear so this is the first three bit that is 1 0 1 now the next bit is 0 so this is your transmission point now okay so from this point you have to draw 0 but which symbol is used here this one right so you have to decide which symbol is used so this is suitable for 0 so this show the link okay or continuously data will be sent and last one is 1010 is already denoted and last bit is 0 so again this is your transmission point so from this point which signal is suitable which bit is suitable see from 0 means okay wait uh, this is your transmission point so this symbol is suitable right so draw 0 here clear so this is called a differential manchester encoding so 0 is indicated by two ways one is indicated also by two ways so you have to choose that which symbol is perfectly fitted there according to their transmission point now see this is an another example of manchester encoding a particular bits or information is given and you have to draw manchester by using thomas rule or by using ieee rule so you have to solve this example okay practice this example and solve this example your own now the next point is manchester versus differential manchester encoding see in manchester encoding low to high is represented by 1 and high to low is represented by 0 clear okay now is differential manchester encoding this technique is always start with the one point and one is converted into the or transited into the zero means one zero is permanent symbol in differential manchester encoding this is a starting points okay now in manchester encoding they required external clock signal for synchronization purpose the particular information is sent as per particular timing for that purpose they use external clock signal but in differential manchester encoding they have their own self clock signals in particular time particular bits have sent from sender to receiver here in manchester encoding there are some errors have occurred due to some noise and interference purpose but in differential Man manchester encoding there is a h technique is used right so this h is indicate the some intermediate values or intermediate bits that's why there is no noise occur in particular information manchester encoding needs a same bandwidth as per the original signals but differential manchester encoding required more bandwidth or twice bandwidth for encoding the signals purpose so this manchester encoding is generally used some tag filtering purpose in some attractive stripe cards or some basic communication frameworks and this differential manchester encoding used in local area network in ethernet or some high speed communication frameworks so this is the basic difference between manchester and differential manchester encoding you have to try the solve the particular examples according the representation so this is all about line coding schemes thank you keep learning